Hi, Earth Science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what are your person's current thoughts about you and about the connection or perhaps even the situation that you're in. This is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video for, for all of you. Okay, guys, let's begin. So what are your person's current thoughts and intentions about you and the connection? Okay. We've got the Hierophant and alongside we've got the Moon card here. Okay. So I'm getting um, a few messages right away. So this could potentially be someone that owes you an apology but is nervous and is very scared about coming back with an apology. Okay. Um, if this is someone who has wronged you, if this is someone who's done wrong by you, who hurt you or who hurt the relationship, I feel like this person is slowly coming to admit that and is slowly, you know, acknowledging that. But I see that they're, they're really nervous. Maybe they feel like if they, um, if they apologize, um, you know, they feel like it potentially in some way they might be admitting to something that they feel like they're not ready to do, okay? It just, it's this nervous energy of them reaching out apologizing to you maybe they're scared of your rejection maybe they might be afraid of how you might see them okay so if they've done you wrong and you know they obviously want to keep things going they obviously feel like they're you an apology or an explanation and this is something that's been going around and around in their head a lot okay so they've been thinking about this day and night but i see them holding back in that sense i also see that this is someone who wants something more with you but either they don't know how to approach the situation or they're scared so sometimes what people want they're afraid of it okay and sometimes people are just as afraid of success as they are of failure so i feel like maybe this person wants something with you but they're afraid of um you know they're afraid of this very thing so to give an example maybe this person you know is in love with you but they're afraid of their feelings for you Maybe this person sees themselves falling in love with you but is afraid to do so because they're scared of, you know, being exposed and vulnerable and potentially, you know, putting themselves in a position where they could end up getting hurt. Maybe this person, you know, wants something, um, wants like a relationship with you but is afraid of commitment. Okay, we've got the High Priestess. I feel like your person is closed off. I also feel like your person is, um, I feel like they're emotionally reserved. I'm also seeing that they're not someone who, you know, communicates. They're holding back. They don't tell you what they're thinking. They don't tell you what they're feeling. But there is emotion involved. The good thing is this person, you know, is emotionally invested. They are emotionally connected to you. They're, pro they're probably coming across as someone who, uh, uh, okay, they're probably coming across as someone who's cold and distant. But they're not. They do have a very sweet um, sensitive side to them but I think this person has built up his or her walls up so high that it's going to take a while for someone I guess to climb over those walls um, and get through to them so you know if this person is coming across as a bit cold and distant I think it's a facade that they're projecting and I think it's only because they're trying to you know protect their um, um, protect their sensitive side i'm also seeing that this person is scared to reveal their feelings for you okay so this person you know is someone who um who maybe is in love with you or you know who is who has feelings for you but they're scared they're scared and they're keeping it a secret okay i feel like they could potentially be you know telling their family and friends um about how they feel for you or they could be talking about you to their family and friends but i feel like when it comes to you this is where they get nervous this is where they get shy and this is where they become really i guess a little bit insecure or timid because um you know they don't potentially want to ruin this any more than they have or they don't want to ruin the, you know their chances with you three of cups this is someone who um you know this is someone who i feel like you've put them in a good place um I feel like you've had some very wonderful memories with this person. You've created some very wonderful times with this individual. I'm also seeing that this is someone who loves to spend time with you. They feel like you're a lot of fun. They love being around you. Um, you know, they, they love your energy. Um, they also, I feel like this person feels very close to you. Okay, and if you give them, and if you give this connection a little bit longer, you'll see a more sensitive, gentle side to them. But 
they have a very strong feminine quality to their energy okay um, but i do think it's going to take some time for them to bring their walls down their guard down but this is someone who i feel like either this they, they want to ask you out i feel like this is someone who wants to take you out dinner um, a dinner date or someone who wants to take you out dancing or someone who wants to ask you out to attend some sort of social invite or gathering with them okay so you know knight of pentacles this is someone who wants to make a move but this is like a slow burning energy slow moving connection so i feel like this person is you know this is someone who's in their head a lot so if they haven't made any action towards you it's because they're too busy thinking about things okay a bit of a stress head someone who overthinks and over analyzes and i guess we all know what the problem with overthinking is right sometimes you get in your head too much that you end up not taking any action at all because it leads to moments of doubt or hesitation so knight of pentacles energy if this person hasn't asked you out um just yet then understand that this is someone who is thinking about you if this is someone who wants to make a comeback they're trying to think okay well when's the best time to do it they're trying to like calculate they're so meticulous um they're so calculative and they're trying to work things out in their head um, i'm also seeing that this person is a little bit how do i um explain this i feel like this is someone who is um I'm very methodical yes but i also see that this person is very like Either they're very old school and traditional or they like have their own way of doing things. They could even have, um, they're very particular. So a little bit of OCD energy is coming up in this person's reading or this reading in general. Um, maybe you're the one with OCD. I don't know. Um, or it could be that this person has done something for so long a certain way and, you know, they, they stick to their methods. Okay, so Ten of Wands, but the Ten of Wands has come up in reverse. I do think, as I've mentioned, you know, this is someone who keeps their cards very close to their chest. But it's only a matter of time before this person comes back and, you know, starts revealing more and more of themselves and their, you know, intentions for you and for the connection. I'm also seeing that this person is willing to put in more of an effort or they, they are willing to step outside of their comfort zone for you. But it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to it's going to take some time. So... You know, if, if you're really keen on this individual and if you really like, you know, the connection that you have with this person, give it a little bit more time because I just think this person needs a little bit more time. Be a little bit more patient. There is this energy of resistance right now and I honestly feel like this is, um, you know, the very thing that we spoke about in the beginning. It's them wanting something but being afraid of it. So, you know, they may want a relationship with you but they're afraid of commitment. Um, they may, you know, see themselves falling in love with you but they're scared to do that. So it's this energy of resistance and this very energy is what's maybe keeping you guys apart or what's preventing this person from coming forward i also feel like this person is either they're very naturally competitive or this is someone who feels like you get a lot of attention they feel like everyone wants you and they feel like constantly having to compete for your attention would be very exhausting and this person feels like they want you to give this relationship or this connection or whatever this is they want you to give it more of uh, more of your energy, to give it more of your attention. Okay, so page of swords. So again, you know, this person is nervous. It's this nervous kind of energy. This person is a little bit confused. I don't think this person knows how you feel about them. Or I don't think this person, you know... Maybe they feel like you don't like them as much as they like you. Maybe that's why we're getting the one-sided energy. Maybe this person thinks, you know, you're they're punching above their weight with you. Maybe this person feels like if they're going to approach you and if they're going to ask you out, you might not say yes. So it's this a bit, they're hesitant to do something here. Whether they're hesitant to come back, and it's not because they don't want to, they want to, or whether they're hesitant to make a move. I just, there's something nerve, really nerve-wracking in their energy. I'm also seeing that this is someone who is... Um, you know, because it's a spying card. This is someone who is um, watching your social media. So they watch very closely what you post. Even if they do not comment, I see them watching your stories. I see them. They even save some of your pictures. Let me tell you that. Okay. And, and it's not because they're being creepy. But this is someone who finds you very attractive. This is someone who, you know, it's like... 
It's like they're almost like an aura of you, basically. Uh, they like what they see. They like what they see, um, but they're nervous. They're nervous to approach you. They're scared. They're scared. They're uncertain. This isn't someone who's very confident. A little insecure. Okay, so the Knight of Wands energy, you know, and we just spoke about the scattered energy, and I think this person is a little bit, um, they're a little bit back and forth, and I don't know if that's because they're in their head too much, I don't know if this person is, you know, someone who is not 100% sure. It's not that they're not 100% sure on you, I just think this person is a little bit insecure, I don't think they have the confidence in themselves. Or their abilities here yeah. I'm also seeing I mean you've got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles and these two Knights could not be any more opposite even if they're tried and this is interesting because I think this you know speaks to us of the duality that we see in the moon card this person is very back and forth you know they want to they definitely want to approach you they want to move this connection along they want to express their feelings for you and um, they want to express themselves but they're not doing it. They're not taking any action. They're not approaching the situation in the way that they want to. And it's this very push-pull kind of energy. They're holding back. You know, what they want with you is passion. It's lust. It's excitement. It's movement. But look at them. Knight of Pentacles stationed in the one position. Not going not going very far. So this is someone who's a slow-moving energy. And they wish they were different. They wish, you know, they were more confident more assertive but they're not and again this person does feel like you get a lot of attention or this person feels like you're not giving them enough attention and this person feels like they have to compete for you and you know they're already quite insecure as it is so it's not really making them feel very good about themselves okay you've got the magician here um you know if this is someone who's disappeared um, the magician tells us that this person is going to be coming back into your life. Um, this is someone who is also, I feel like they're trying to really, um, they're trying to project, they're trying to impress you, okay? So I feel like they're trying to be someone that they're not when they're with you. Um, it's not because, and I think it's only because they're trying to impress you, they're trying to make a good impression on you. So they're trying to, you know, um, woo you, they're trying to win you over. I just think they have, and, and they're scared to show you. I think it's also, also has something to do with them being very closed off. They're scared to show you, you know, who they really are, because what if who they really are isn't, you know, your cup of tea? What if, it, if it's not what you like? So that's why I feel like with the magician's energy, they they might be masquerading, right? They might be masquerading and pretending to be someone that they're not. Like, really, they're the Knight of Pentacles, but they're masquerading and pretending to be the Knight of Wands. Or they're the Knight of Wands energy, masquerading themselves to be the Knight of Pentacles. You get it. And this is all just to impress you, okay? Because what if you don't really like the real them, okay? What if you're not really impressed by the real them? So I think it's all in an effort to impress you. Um, but, you know, I do feel like this is someone whom you're going to be reattracting back into your life if this person is, is, isn't in your life. Or this is obviously an energy that you've, you know, you guys clearly attracted one another. So, the Magician's card, you know, there, there's, a, there's an alchemy to this energy. There's a magic in the air about this connection. Give it the time to develop, basically. Alright, and these are your messages. Thanks, guys, for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.